Uh, well, I think it is a human right as being born into a democracy here in Australia to be able to voice our opinions. That's either, you know, being censored, ignored, slandered, misinterpreted through, you know, mainstream media, within our government, throughout these press conferences. It's extremely, you know, frustrating that our serious concerns that are also backed by doctors, scientists, you know, case studies, all the evidence in the world that, you know, there, there is a serious danger to what's happening in our country at the moment. bad outweighs the good with you know what if this is doing to our society and the segregation that it is causing within it as well and at the end of the day regardless of which side you stand on about these mandates and these vaccines everybody should have a choice and that's why I'm here. Have you seen the effects of lockdowns on other people's kids? hundred uh, percent. What are you seeing? Um, I know a friend of mine that works a lot with the teenage kids who are actually um, made several attempts to take their own lives um, that's been pretty hard for him. Um, I know younger children that are suffering from anxiety um, and that's just going to get worse as well over time. How is the segregation affecting people? Well in families, I don't know any families any household that's not being affected by the segregation, you know, within the family, within the community, within the jobs, um, even just going to a shopping centre, you feel like, you're made to feel like, you know, you're not welcome, you don't belong. What, why are you protesting today? Same as every other day. How long will you protest for? Until all this stops, all this comes to an end. Until I'm very sure that my daughter can grow up in a normal society. Can you explain to me what you did And the psychological trauma that causes some people and children as well, especially if I was with my daughter, like she would feel, she would feel that. Um, it's almost like being in a relationship where you're rejected and abandoned or gaslighted and the, tra the, the side effects of that doesn't actually show until much later on. So segregation is it's all over media, all over social media, mainstream news, like that the kids are being fed this segregation. It's a dictation. It's really crunch time now, everyone losing their jobs. I don't know, I think it's just time for everyone to really stand up and it's not easy to be here because it is scary, but yeah, I mean, what else do you do?